Okay, let's try to answer this problem. Sabi dito, calculate the boiling point and freezing point of a solution containing 478 grams of ethylene glycol in 3,202 grams of your water. So, binigay yung molar mass. The molar mass of ethylene glycol is 62.01 grams. So, ano yung hinahanap sa atin? Hindi boiling point elevation, hindi freezing point depression. Ang hinahanap sa atin ay boiling point and freezing point ng solution. So, ang hinahanap sa atin is boiling point ng solution at saka freezing point ng solution. Hindi boiling point elevation at hindi rin freezing point depression. Sa formula ng boiling point ng solution, uh, ng boiling point elevation, boiling point solution is Tb. Freezing point ng solution is Tf. ba? Yun yung ating term sa formula. Now, let's solve first for the boiling point of the solution. So, the formula for boiling point elevation is change in Tb is equal to Kbm. But note that your Tb, change in Tb, is equal to Tb minus Tb0. Diba? So, you can substitute that. So, Tb minus Tb0 is now equal to Kbm. Pinalitan lang natin itong boiling point elevation, nitong terms na ito. Ayan. So, this is the formula we're going to use for this one. Kasi ang hinahanap natin na term is the boiling point of the solution. Ayan. Ito yung hinahanap natin na term, this Tb right here. Now, look at the given. Ano ba yung mga binigay sa'yo? So, meron ka nung Kb, kasi constant yan. Look at the table. So, for water, the Kb is 0.52 degrees Celsius per molal. Kb is equal to 0.52 degrees Celsius per molal. Usually, dapat yung mga constants ni water, alam natin yan. Kasi water is the universal solvent, di ba? Yung molality, obviously, hindi binigay sa problem. So, we have to solve for that. Yung Tb, this one, ito yung hinahanap natin. And what about the boiling point of the pure solvent, the Tb0? Hindi siya binigay. But, dapat alam natin. Kasi, pure water boils at exactly 100 degrees Celsius. ba? Alam mo dapat yan. Next! The molality, we need to solve for that kasi hindi naman siya binigay sa problem. So, molality is equal to moles of solute over the kilograms of solvent. Binigay ba yung mole ng solute sa problem? Hindi po. Binigay po yung grams ng ethylene glycol. Paano ko nalaman siya yung solute? Kasi nga siya, siya yung pinakakonte. Para hindi ka malito kung sino si solute at si solvent, kung sino yung pinakakonte, automatic siya si solute. So, ang binigay sa'yo ay 478 grams ng ethylene glycol. Ayan. We have to convert this to mole. And in order to convert this to mole, you need the molecular mass or the molar mass or the molecular weight. Parehas lang yung tatlong yun. And binigay siya sa problem. Binigay niya yung molar mass ni ethylene glycol. It is 62.01 grams daw. Now, you can convert this, di ba? What's your conversion factor? Your conversion factor is 1 mole of ethylene glycol is equal to 62.01 grams. So, we can convert now 478 grams. Sa baba yung grams para mag-cancel, 62.01 grams. Sa taas yung mole kasi yun yung unit na kailangan natin. Ayan. So, cancel, cancel. 478 divided by 62.01 so, this is equal to 7.71 mole. So, kapag nakuha mo na yung mole, nakuha mo na yung mole ng solute, pwede na natin siyang isubstitute dun sa ating formula. So, again, the formula for molality is equal to the moles of solute over the kilograms of solvent. So, mole of solute is 7.71 mole. Wala ka pang kilograms ng solvent. Madali na lang yan. To convert gram to kilogram, divide it by 1,000. So, 3,202 divided by 1,000. So, the answer is 3.202 kilograms. So, the molality is 7.71 divided by 3.202. It is 2.41 molal. 
Ayan, meron ka na lahat ng terms. Substitute ka na. The formula that we'll be using is TB minus TB0 is equal to KBM. This is the term that we are, uh, this is the value that what we're solving for is for the boiling point of the solution. Okay, so TB minus TB0, which is 100 degrees Celsius, the boiling point of pure water, is equal to KB, 0.52 degrees Celsius, per molal multiplied by your molality 2.41 molal so magka-cancel po ito so 0.52 plus 2.41 it is equal to sorry multiply 0.52 times 2.41 it is equal to 1.25 degrees celsius so ibaba natin yung other terms so, paano natin i-isolate si TB? I-transpose natin si 100 degrees Celsius sa right-hand side ng equation. So, TB is now equal to 1.25 degrees Celsius plus 100 degrees Celsius. So, the answer to this is equal to 101.25 degrees Celsius. Tama po ba? Tama po ito kasi sabi natin, ang boiling point ng solution ay laging mas mataas kesa sa boiling point ng pure solvent. Yung boiling point ng pure solvent, 100 degrees lang. Mas mataas yung solution, 101.25 degrees Celsius. Tapos na po ba? Hindi pa po kasi hinihingi rin po niya yung freezing point ng ating solution. So, to solve for the freezing point of your solution, we have to use the formula for freezing point depression. So, changing Tf is equal to Kfm. So, sabi natin, change in Tf is equal to Tf0 minus Tf. Ito yung termo for the freezing point of solution. So, substitute this to this. So, palitan natin. Tf0 minus Tf is now equal to Kfm. And this is the formula that we will be using to solve for the freezing point of the solution. Tingnan muna natin yung values ng mga terms. So, here, itong freezing point ng solution ang hinahanap natin. So, yung Kf, makikita mo yan sa table. So, yung Kf ni tubig ay ito, 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal. Usually, dapat memorize yan kasi nga tubig yan. So, kung titingnan nyo tong table for different solvents, iba-iba sila ng Kf, iba-iba yung Kb. Usually, kapag other solvents, binibigay naman talaga yung cryoscopic and ebullioscopic constants nila. Okay? So, Kf is equal to 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal. Yung molality, nasolve na natin kanina. Yun pa din yun. Kasi isang problem lang naman ito. Eh ngayon, ano yung Tf0? Yung freezing point ng pure water. Kasi water yung solvent mo eh. Dapat alam mo to. The freezing point of your pure water is 0 degrees Celsius. So, pwede ka na mag-substitute kasi kompleto na lahat ng terms mo except doon sa hinahanap mo. So, Tf0 is 0 degrees Celsius minus Tf is equal to Kf, 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal, multiplied by your molality, 2.41 molal. Ayan. So, 1.86, o oh, magka-cancel si molality, si molal, ayan. 1.86 times 2.41, that is equal to 4.48 degrees Celsius. Ibaba natin yung remaining terms. Transpose si 0 degrees Celsius to the right-hand side of the equation. So, negative Tf is equal to 4.48 degrees Celsius minus, minus, 0 degrees Celsius. Ayan. Now, um, 4.48 minus 0, 4.48 pa rin naman po. ba? Ayan. Tapos, Tf negative. So, how do you remove the negative sign dun sa term natin na Tf? Multiply both sides by negative 1. So, Tf is now equal to 4.48 degrees Celsius. Negative, sorry. Negative 4.48 degrees Celsius. Tama kasi ang freezing point ng solution is mas mababa lagi kesa sa freezing point ng ating pure solvent. So, negative 4.48 degrees Celsius is much much lower than your 0 degrees Celsius. Ayan. So, meron pala tayo ditong ah, solutions. Ayan. Okay. So, on our next video, we will discuss the vapor pressure lowering and the osmotic pressure.